This video is to add a more simplified way to add the Tesla large drive unit ro rotor coolant bypass or rotor coolant delete. This delete was put together in a group effort of Brian Howard and I to bring you an economical and feasible way to get rid of a leaky rotor seal that has damaged many drive units in our Tesla cars. As you see, this is the manifold and the seal that is the problem seal. Um, Tesla tried many different styles and still have not come up with one that would actually hold over time. If you use a seal puller, that seal actually pulls out rather easy. You just have to have it in a good vise so you can get a little pressure on it. And then there is a snap ring pliers that comes out. And this is the new idea on how to take care of the existing tube where before I just cut it off and then drill it out. If you just put a little pressure up and down with a piece of pipe, you will see when it's out that it has four holes cut in it. So it has a breaking or a cracking point. So it actually comes out rather easy with a couple sharp blows from the pipe. As you see, it's just aluminum and it broke away rather easy. And now it will perfectly, without any more modification, be ready for this 304 stainless plug that we install that allows the bypass. Now this bypass will allow the coolant to run to the flyover tube and relieve any air that's in the drive motor and it'll allow it to flow and, and keep full flow and allow the rest of it to cool. I use a Permatex high temp sleeve retainer. 64,000 is the part number. That's good up to 400 degrees and it adds up to 300 PSI of holding power. Not only will it help hold it in place, but it seals and it prevents corrosion for dissimilar metals between your 304 stainless and your aluminum housing, which 304 stainless does work rather well with our cast aluminum. So now, after everything's cleaned up, just put it together and I put a socket that fits around the outside and I just put it back in the vise and then it just smoothly pushes right together. You will feel good resistance when it's driven home and it pulls right in. It has a nice interference fit almost the same as what the seal was and with the Permatech sleeve retainer, you're guaranteed it's gonna stay in place. So now, I usually just wipe off the excess that comes off, and now it's ready to install. Just make sure you have your gasket sealing surfaces clean and ready to install, and I just use a good RTV sealant to put it in. And that is it. Thank you for your time. And please go to TESX.net to order. Thank you.